Welcome back. So the next couple tutorials will be really diving into using Git. This one will be a bit of a shorter one. I just wanted to make a few more points about commits and also how to discard changes as we go. So selectively, we can just get rid of a, say a particular script that we've been working on, but keep all of our other changes. And then also talk about how GameMaker reacts to that. So let's jump in. Let's make some files. I'm going to make, uh, let's start off with just a sprite and maybe an object. So sprite, SPR, rocket, let's say. Let's really quickly just draw uh, a dodgy rocket. And if we flip back quickly to um, GitHub desktop, we should actually see some changes popping up. So I am going to go into what these actually are again in another video because it's going to inflate a lot of our time right now. But yeah, this is kind of everything that would go into making a rocket. And again, if we click on object, make a new object, I'm gonna call this OBJ rocket. And again, we flip back, we've now made an object. Great. And if I flip back to GitHub desktop, here, you can actually see the rocket image file, which is quite cute. I'm going to commit these changes. So I'm going to say made rocket sprite and object. Uh, I'm not going to add a description. That's fine. I'm going to commit this change again. You can see that I have one change that I still need to push off to the origin. We can go ahead and click that off. And now if I change it, so if I call that ugh, maybe green, great, looks great. And I come back and I go to changes. You can see that nothing is actually coming up yet. And this is because I haven't hit save yet, uh, as indicated by this little asterisk. So there are things that do kind of get automatically updated and it's often when you're adding or removing files entirely. And I often reflexively um, hit save for this reason so that I'm constantly actually updating stuff so that it does get reflected in GitHub desktop and also so that I'm saving my project. So if you've, you've done this and you know, you hit commit and you haven't actually saved GameMaker and just know that yet yeah, the interface might not be capturing the project as it is. So just make sure that you're hitting save a lot. So if we do that, we hit save control save, um, you can see that a change has been made. Uh, and it's kind of funny that it comes up as uh, an addition and a deletion that we've kind of deleted the old version and added this new version. Say I didn't actually want to change that um, and I want to go back to the, to the old version, I can actually just highlight these changes and hit discard and it'll roll back to that, what it was before, basically. It'll get rid of my addition and deletion to this sprite. Now, I have done that while keeping GameMaker open. And some people don't like to do that whenever they're um, handling anything in here. They like to close GameMaker. I found discards are often pretty safe, especially if it's just one or two things. But if I was discarding like a, a, a large amount of stuff from the project, or if I was pulling in a large amount of changes, I would always want to quit GameMaker first. Actually, to be honest, whenever I, I pull in uh, changes that someone else has made into my project, I make sure that I close GameMaker first. Because although it's able to handle a lot of stuff, it's able to reload it, uh, this will pop up usually, and everything is usually fine. Stuff can go wrong. It's a little bit arbitrary, and I'll go into some of the problems, especially that I have encountered as I've been using GameMaker and, and our... Um, our project, me and some of the other programmers. But yeah, I'll, I'll come to that a bit later because it is uh, a long tangent. For now, we just have to know what to do now. Like, do we want to save or do we want to reload? We want to load in well, the change that we actually just made um, from GitHub, so reload. And you can see it's popped back to its blue. Glorious. Okay. Now, um, we can actually do that selectively as well. So say I've written a bunch of stuff in here and let me just increase that. So say I've written, you know, bean, 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 bean. Uh, but over here, you know, I've done draw self, but some other, other really crucial code, but I only really wanted to delete the stuff in the um, create event that I just did. I can do that. I can just, you know, discard one thing. 
But it does get complicated. I In code, it's, it's usually fine to just discard one event, um, the code from one event. But um, for sprites, for object resources, things can get a little bit more hairy. So we're going to just signpost that for later um, and just, just deal with the nice, uh, easier code example. Okay, so I could, for example, discard this, this code here. However, kind of like I just said, it's not the same as deleting the event. So if I come back here, if I reload, not only actually has it not refreshed it properly, which like I said, that is a danger of not closing the project. So I am actually going to reopen that. And I think um, a little bit of that complication was because I actually made the event at the same time. If I come back to here, it has gotten rid of the code. The event is still there, however, because the fact that this object has a create event wasn't stored in the code itself. It was stored actually in in this piece of information. Yeah, and I would have to delete, I think one of these, I think that line um, to actually get rid of it. In fact, if I just go ahead and delete it. Yeah, you can see that that disappeared. So again, we'll go into um, some of what this stuff means in another tutorial. But yeah, so now I'm just left with this uh, really important draw code. All right, so we are going to leave it there for now. I hope that helps. And until next time, stay safe and make some cool games.